if it's too difficult, the children just lost interest. And then what you teach, no matter how much you teach, they won't understand. They're also not interested in learning. Hi, I'm Li Ming. I'm currently working as an assistant director in the education sector. So I have two children. I think with the time change, we ask the students to be more vocal, encourage the students to speak up, also involve their innovations and creativity so they can, when they speak up, they will think it through before they speak up, that kind of thing. If you suppress them too much, it will suppress their creativity and innovation as well. I always feel that. And the social part also. We are really emphasizing a lot of collaborative and teamwork. So I thought it should start young as well so they can a small group and complete a project together so they can also understand each other better in a way like how to manage people how to manage emotion as well now the the system is different they will teach you why and then i do see a lot of personalized teaching people have different ability to adapt to the different learning the learning curve is different so they will split the students into different ability i thought that will be also crucial when it comes to education I think interactive is good but also need to be personalized and simple. La. If they don't find it interesting, they won't have any interest in it. If it's too difficult, they also lost interest in it. So it's really a combination of a lot of factors. La. I think personalized teaching is very, very important. When I was maybe in secondary school where the Chinese class start to split. But I think now more and more, they will assess based on their ability and then A, B, C, then the teach in a different way. The worried part is whether the manpower is, is there sufficient manpower to do this. That's why I know overall preschool has a manpower shortage. That's why parents look into other opportunities like I can read the Hinguru or, or even the maths or different kind of app will help the children. And creative class have this uh, instructor that tag along and, and then the math talk behind. I thought there's also some human-to-human -human communication. There will be an instructor that will be there to let you know what the kids are lacking of. So for instance, when we have the first two weeks of trial class, mm -hmm. teacher Sophia will actually tell me that, oh, I realize Charlotte has a this deep period of time where they spend more time in this or there's a she got wrong like first time or second time and then we'll then know where is she lacking and what we can tackle. This is also for them to test whether they really know what is previously or not. So I think that's very important because if, when, if you're just purely teaching and teaching and teaching and you don't know whether she really understand. They are really test their concept. So they can relate what they learn and then to the logical thinking and problem solving. I'm quite surprised that she do know some theory like when she do the maths class I was sitting beside I was quite surprised that she know the answer most of the instances when she know like I don't need to really tell her from her how to answer the question and she know how to do it left right 